So here we are in Swiss, uh, La Chaux Fond, private property it says. Where is it? There it is. Private property. And uh, what do I see here? There it is. Freemasons. That means the war coming up. Don't kill the people, don't destroy the house. And we can organize here. I'm also of a pharaonic and uh, aristocratic descent. Well, they're here, you see? Signals. And it's coming soon, I tell you, 2013. You better do the same thing on your house and put one of these here, the square and compass. You got a much, much better chance to uh, survive. Okay, you understand? He's looking at me. Uh, hello. Stand still. Okay. So if you're walking, like if it's like April, May, you know, you walk on sandals like this. Because your feet stay dry, it's very flat, so you don't twist your ankles. And um, because they stay dry, so you uh, you get no blisters. It's getting harder and harder. And if it's very hot, if a lot of walking, you keep your head cool. If your feet are cool, your head is cool. So this is another tip if you're traveling. In like in summer, don't take any boots. You know you're 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 finished like in uh, in a couple of days. It's gone. You get blisters, it's getting wet. Oh, oh there's more of them. Yeah. I have to pass the fence. Me too. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's go on. Going to France. So this is where I slept last night, uh, there's some French guys working here making everything new for hikers to sleep here, uh, I think it's all going to be free, well anyway it was for me, they prepared me a real nice meal yesterday, so that was real great, I'm just a couple of meters from the French border, I'm still in Switzerland. So that's where I slept over there and uh, some French blokes working on it. Uh, this is uh, used to be like an anarchist cafe. Uh, the anarchist uh, Jacques Fazel, uh, it belongs to him. See a lot of anarchist stuff here. Uh, he used to do bank robberies. And uh, he even got shot in, uh, in Paris. He got a couple of bullets by the police. Well, now he's in his 60s and it's all quiet. There's more like, uh, used to be revolutionaries coming here, but not that much anymore, apparently. It's more like uh, people coming here for a Sunday or hikers sleeping here because it's, uh, here's the river. Well, this is a part of the river. This is the quiet part, uh, the branch. And the other side is France. So I'm going to go over there without any passport, of course. 
So this is just one branch and there's a uh, uh, yeah. So uh, last night I was very happy. Uh, they prepared a lot and a very nice meal for me here. All three. <laughs> And uh, so the other, the friend of uh, Jacques Fazel, he was uh, Daniel Bloch, he was uh, a member of the, the bank robber club, like, they were all anarchists and students. They even got, apparently, they even got uh, a question by the CIA when they were in prison, because they thought, well, they were like Bader Mannheim, Meinhof members. So I'm going to show outside a bit. Now he's going to get some food with this thing here, the French guy. And uh, looks very nice. So that's why I slapped here. There's the river. This is the house where we... Uh, here where we ate. Yeah. So they have the garden. Just at the border here. So I could cross the border here, but it looks a bit slippery, you know, it's been raining a lot. So uh, with my heavy pack, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it. Now, how do I get to the other side, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's very slippery. It's been raining for weeks, so uh, yeah, I can get over here, but I might fall into the dip here. But how do I get to the ladders on the other side? You know, it's all water. How do I get there? Uh, I'll find another place to cross. Well, I mean, if I have to, I can, but I, you know, <clears throat> don't want to be all wet. I've done enough of these things. So, apparently, I have to walk for about like, two hours. That's what they said. So there's France. Liberté, and I'm standing in Switzerland, it's just a dip in between, no passport, well who cares, right. So here's the other side of the anarchist cafe again. And again, it's not that much anymore, it's all quieted down. So oh, that way was the anarchist cafe and uh, so that way was the anarchist cafe of the two king bank robbers Jacques Fazel and Daniel Bloch. On that side is France. Here's the dip or part of it and here's a uh, hydroelectric station here between France and Switzerland. La France, Liberté, Switzerland, dictatorship, Nazism. That's my way. Another Swiss tunnel. Oh wow. Seems to be I'm having tunnel vision. Alright.
Uh oh, watch your heads. It's quite big, eh? So I came from there. And uh, it's absolutely huge. And I'm going that way. I still can't see the end of it. So, well, let's go. from for the, uh, the uh, hydroelectric right over here another shower oh, the border still the border between France and uh, Switzerland that's uh, France Oh, that must be Switzerland then. I always put this Templars flag all over. So this is the border and on the other side here. There's the water. So this is France. That's where I was before. There's the water. Yeah. On the other, other side of the dip. So this is a museum in France. There's this sun hieroglyph all over. Uh, it looks very pharaonic as well. And uh, so here it looks like the. Uh, like the gold and the yellow of uh, Tutankhamun, King Tut. There are little frogs here. So, this is why I slept here, very nice, so I'm like halfway, almost in this, what's well, considered the south of France here. I could have slept on the motorway petrol station, like the, um, the parking lots, you know, but um, wouldn't be good. I'd sleep on the petrol stations, people walking around, too many people, so it's better. Take a couple of minutes and walk away and find a good, nice, quiet place. You know, there's people stealing things, the police wake you up, uh, it's attracting too many things, you know, like on a petrol station. This is part of a real huge petrol station here, all people going south, south of France, into Spain, you know, 
so I'm on the outside. I could have slept inside, but you know, police checking it out in the night, security, gypsies walking around, queers, uh, lorry drivers shitting, hate of shitting. Sometimes. But it would be real nice, you know. Look at the lawn, real nice to put my tent in somewhere. But I preferred to go outside. You know, and sleep there, behind the bushes, outside. Nobody will be coming there, you know. Just the longer way is always the better way. That's a bit longer. So now I'm walking back to the entrance. I'm going over the fence here. Go back. I'm doing my hitchhiking. Spring is really the nicest place to, uh, to travel in France. But I do like sleeping in the snow, I tell you. But well, there's a real big thing here with the bridge, like going over the motorway. Donald's here, we can see the motorway. Real huge thing here. Real big. It's uh, Mont Montelimar. So, this is where I'm coming from. It's all black. It's kind. The north, it's, it's been raining. One, only once in a week, but the whole time. There's where I'm going to. Oh, look at nice. At least it wasn't raining anymore. I would, I've been taking rain for the last three days only. Everything is wet. Why well, not my gear? Because I got all protected. Oh, okay. Well, I do definitely not eat that. Well, unless somebody buys me some. Uh, rather eat something else. Well, they even have a climbing facility here on the motorway. <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah, look, it's huge here. Look at it. So I am actually heading there. Petrol station, I'm going to ask some people. Excuse me. I'm going to ask you a question. Are you going to the south? Well, that was a bit of a Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Le sac il <était> <laughs> Ciao, merci Olivier. Hello. Nice weather, nice ride. Right. Some more hitchhikers getting food out of the garbage can. <laughs> They're hitchhiking with three dogs. Oh, man. <laughs> with three dogs. YouTuber. Is there anything to eat? There's some more hitchhikers here. Food. <laughs> Hamburgers. <laughs> Some Spanish hitchhikers, that's how they do it. <laughs> oh, nice! Oh, look at it! Oh, nice! Spanish! Oh, nice! What's more? Hungry! I haven't eaten in three days. <laughs> look at the truck drivers! <laughs> Muy bien, muy bien. So, I'm going to eat this from the garbage can. Very nice, with some mayonnaise. Good. Oh, what a lovely place again. Oh, <laughs> 
There's a nice marker here. Hit me time. like the hippie market in Esperanza. Oh, hippie time here. Well, <laughs> so you might think, well, you know, you hate hiking, there's the road, and you think, well, this is a nice place to put my tent here. And then you just sit down here and you think by yourself, what, what are these rocks doing here? Look, it's full of rocks here. And you think some more, well, where do they come from? And you look up here, well, it looks steady here. Well, that, that doesn't look very, uh, very stable. That one here, look at that. It's not stable at all, look at that. So, uh, oh no, 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 I'm not going to sleep here. I don't want to do a header with old, one of those blocks. Oh, it's full of blocks here. So these are the things, you know, in the forest as well. You must look, you don't sleep under a uh, rotten tree. These are important things. Yeah. So the road is just there. I mean, who would see me here? Nobody would they? A nice field here.
wanted to hitchhike here, but well, maybe I don't, you know. Oh, well, we don't, we don't see the, those cars very much anymore. So, yeah. and wild like me it's better to hitchhike you know and go around and drive a motorcycle you, know, you die young you know i mean you got only two wheels so it's very obvious full. you got to do with two wheels but if you don't have enough money for two wheels yeah so this guy look at that he's so young he could have been walking around like me and hitchhiking and if you really look good it's quite safe so if you want to be wild go hitchhiking you know and forget about motorcycles i mean uh, you put your life anyway in the hands of other persons and uh, if they just don't look very well you know you're gone right eh? you're just gone bye bye so i'm hitchhiking in a range rover i'm going to the top now on <laughs> anglais it's real beautiful here look at it Fabulous. Ah, okay. He said it was a, it was a, his pigs there. Ah, oh, it's beautiful here. Yeah. So on top there's a uh, an old Templar's castle. It's probably not octagonal because uh, they, they just took it away. Moi j'habite là. Okay. Mais la main. Ah, super. Ah oui. I'm going on top here, there's another Templar's castle, which is called Le Bézou, here in, this, uh, in the south of France. But apparently it was not theirs in, from the beginning, they just robbed it from somebody else. So uh, it probably won't be octagonal. It was beautiful here, yeah. real beautiful, fascinating. There's a lot of nature here. Yeah. So this is sort of the uh, the road to the south. Look at it. They got eagles here and vultures and well, they got vultures in town as well. You know what I mean? Ah, my back. So here it says, in fact, that it is not a Templar's castle, but it was a Cathar castle or two. Uh, nah two aristocratic guys or who uh, defended the Cathars and uh, well they got destroyed by the uh, by the Crusades yeah, well, I hope you can see it I don't see very much in my LCD screen so I am going up here that's where I'm coming from here so now I'm going up here there's my track here good so, going up the hill to the castle. Now oh, well, let's go to the castle then. I hear some eagles. Did you hear that? Eagles. I just turn it off, it's probably getting boring for you guys like this. So, you know. oh, this is part of the castle here. And uh, it's a funny stone here. It would be worth digging here. What's that? Coat of arms. Oh, I'm almost there. As you can see, it's always it's the castle. So let's go. Are you ready? 
Okay. So am I. So I'm at the top now here. Uh, I don't see the really the castle yet. Uh, it's quite windy here. So it's, uh, So that mountain there, uh, I suppose it's the Bugarash, but I can't see uh, Renle Chateau. With the wind and on top of all this here, I'm getting quite itchy under my feet, if you know what I mean. I just put my back away. And there's all mountains here. It's all nature. It's very green here. put my pack away so that's a bugarash that's why they were waiting for the end of the world you know remember 2012 the end of the world so, I think that one there that's Remle Chateau I think Chateau. Uh, there's a guy who's owning the uh, restaurant. He's, uh, he said he is initiated uh, as a Templar in Jerusalem. Well, I went to talk to him yesterday, but he doesn't know anything, you know, <laughs> not very much. Yeah, he knows just the mainstream stories, he does. So I know he's not a Templar. Nice man, though. So that over there must be a Renle Chateau. There it is, I think. Yeah. The man who was living there, he's owning the restaurant, he says he's been initiated by the Templars in Jerusalem. I went to talk to him yesterday. Just see if he knows just as much as I do. Obviously, if he's willing to say that much. Okay. Well, I'll just cling on to the wall here. Just walk in. <laughs> so you see, here you can see it was a castle. But I'm definitely not going to climb down here. No way. I don't know how to get there in a normal way. I'm getting itchy in my feet if I look down here. You know what I mean? E you can hear the eagles there. Well, I suppose that's it. I don't want to. I don't want to know where the rest of the castle is. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the wall was here. Well, I'm not going to climb down. So it's probably built on all this here. This part of it here.
think that's the castle of Kiribus, that one there. It's very hard to see my LCD screen. So that's the castle I slept the other time. There's Bugarash. And that's the, uh, the town of Bugarash. The end of the world. 2012. <laughs> Maybe I can even, I think there's the obelisk somewhere. And so you can see the stairs and the uh, and these stones here. So there was a castle here. Special flowers here. Very small. Probably good for something. That's one thing I learned in the army, you know, if you're afraid of heights, you know, and you look down and you know you got sort of itch in your legs, just tense your muscles, you know, tense your muscles in your legs and your body, and you don't feel it anymore. You know, tense it. Tighten up your muscles, you know, and, and it's okay. But, uh, better to prevent it. So how was it the mountain there behind here? And uh, there is the Rennes Chateau. That's the tower of uh, Béranger Saunier. Rennes Chateau. Look at the eyes. You know what that is, eh? Aliens. So what are they waiting for here? Eh? Middle of nowhere. What are they waiting for? Uh, they're waiting for them. Uh. I came from there. And what are these funny sounds here? What is this? Very funny. Doesn't really sound like singing. Crazy women there. Witches. A real crazy women here. I don't think I want to go there, you know. What are they doing? <laughs> Quite hysteric. This is weird in the middle of nowhere. Lions. 
the symbol of the uh, the pharaonic royal dignity and the symbol of the aristocracy Ari pregnant and the sun they came from the sun so it's, it's real weird and in the middle of nowhere this is an old uh, outpost here looking over the valley There's Rennle Chateau. I suppose this is the place which is called uh, Labadou. It's supposed to be a very magical place. Good. Oh. Oh, ice cream, it's so hot. Ice cream. <laughs> This is not something new, this is very old. What well, the tubes here, you know, that's new. That's new, but the whole thing is old. So this is the grail in the middle, that means we are here. The pharaohs are here. This is the symbol of the pharaonic royal dignity and the aristocracy. They have it all on their coat of arms, the lion, which is an animal which is... Uh, which is not from here. We got bears and wolves. So this means there's a, uh, a foreign power ruling over us. It's time to stand up. Uh, it's very weird here, in the middle of nowhere. The trees, they have a f funny alignment as well, in a V. From the top, you'll see a V, Templars V. Yeah. yeah this outpost there strange so I suppose this is Labadou and just behind the tower were those crazy women uh, the whole region is attracts all sort of seekers uh, esoteric seekers yeah. they don't know very much everybody talks about the Templars who were here in the region but people don't know the man as well there, and the, uh, who has the restaurant, he was even initiated in Jerusalem as a temple. I'm going to talk to him again. So here's the outpost. Must be Labadou. Uh, and the lions. And the grill. Our blood is here. And the, uh, the crazy women that were down there. So here's a door. Put a cross on it. And these women, they were down there. thing is attracting here esoterical people finding uh, who are uh, looking for esoterics mm -hmm. well, I wanted to stand up and this here what is that one doing on my shoe What is he doing on my shoe? Well mate, can't take you with me. Well he's quite stubborn. Get out of here. Come on. Get away. Why don't you just go? Well oh, come on. Oh, I'm taking the what are you doing now? Huh? Right, okay, there you go. Good. Here I'm hitchhiking with a nice guy here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
very old French car, but it's running very nice. In the middle of the vineyard, everywhere wine, all around. Nice old church. And there's my, uh, there's the motorway just behind there, with the petrol station. So of course I don't sleep on the, uh, on the petrol station, which is behind the fence. I just go outside and sleep quiet. You know, Sometimes criminal people going around, like gypsies and other ones. The police wakes you up, so I'm just behind. So here I am in Montpellier, in the south of France. So it's all over the sun, Euroglyph. It's always the same thing, you know. There it is as well, all over. Here in the park. There as well. Everywhere. Oh, gets boring. It's always the same thing. <laughs> Big rock. So here's a line with the shield. So this is real royal, even with the shield. A coat of arms. <laughs> Look at the number. Uh, right, it's all over. Yeah, won't be. Uh, this is France, you know, even the bus driver is on the phone, you know. Why is an Arab? So, I'm going to the beach. Nice. I haven't seen the sea in years. So we're in June. Let's find a quiet place somewhere. Over there. Oh, nice. The Mediterranean. So here was the. Uh, it was like uh, Rimi Gaia here, where you were. He had this film of the uh, D Day's landing. No, that was here. Alright. Mm. Homeless people everywhere. Yeah, this is not a traveller, it's homeless. Doing his washing, doing his laundry. I suppose it's a his. Well, that's a traveller. I've just been walking six kilometers to get here. So there's my motorway. And uh, the petrol station should be right there. I always look where it is. Uh, never stand at an entrance, it's only the police will pick you up. They won't do anything, but it costs you time and energy. So, I'm glad to get there. Remember, always walk on the left hand side, so you can see them coming. There are some roads where you can put up your thumb, you know, and walk on the uh, the right hand side but always look behind you and like here I just want to walk so I walk left in the south of France the Mediterranean well, they drive like pigs you know so so better to uh, in the rest of France it's okay so as I drive on the right hand side walk left
if you walk here always take the outer circle there but don't walk in the inner circle the car is coming around the bend it can't see you you know oh hello how are you doing you know Bye-bye. Oh. So you see that's why you shouldn't take the inner the inner bend, just the cops coming around the uh, around the bend. So well there's my petrol station. It was worth six kilometers walking, four miles walking. That was worth it. So now I'm easy gonna ask some people. <laughs> <laughs> That means retaliate. A post is the postal services. <laughs> Repost, retaliate. <laughs> <That's Yeah. it. laughs> I met him for the second time. The first time I gave him a nice sausage. He's 64 years old. 64, yeah? 63. 63 years old from Czechoslovakia. No. <laughs> I never saw so many cops in one place, no, look at it. Oh, there are a lot of them in France. Now they're all leaving. There's more. That's a lot. What are they up to? So there's a motorway in France. There you can see the tip of the uh, the petrol station. There. And here am I. What a lovely tree. Nobody sees me. There I am. Only uh, too bad I have to go back to my prison in Switzerland. I could go on for years like that. Uh, met so many nice people in France. Go back to the Swiss prison in the Swiss dictatorship. The Nazi dictatorship. Wish I could stay in France, I really like it.